morning, guys. We are on to Unit 5 in our Tums book. I'm hoping that we can get through Unit 5 and 6 this week, and then we'll worry about Unit 19 next week, right before Thanksgiving break. So bear with me. We're squeezing in two units this week. We've already talked about the concept of proportionality, so these notes should be quick and easy. This assignment should be quick and easy, and let's go get it. So um, we've already talked about most of these words in our notes here that we did last week on the third and I believe the fourth. Um, constant proportionality is the value of two proportional quantities and it's represented by the equation k equals y over x where y is the y value in a table or graph and x is the x value in the table or graph. So um, we're going to call it k for constant proportionality and we're also going to write the formula y over x um, another thing that helps us remember, divide y by x. Um, it's a ratio. Um, what else can we say? Uh, ratios have to be equal. We could say y equals kx, so all we did was mix up this to get that and vice versa. Um, no addition or subtraction in the equation. Subtraction. Um, hold, please. K is the coefficient of x, and it can be a rational number. Hey y'all, I'm recording a video. How are you? Oh, it's just you. Good morning. So then down here, the definition, use the information from the word web to from the word web to write a definition for the term constant proportionality. Make the definition as comprehensive and clear as possible and include an example. So I'm gonna take the definition that we got right from our notes last week. And it's a ratio of two proportional quantities. And it's a coefficient of x, C-O-E-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-T of x, and it's found by y over x. Okay, remember you can get y over x from a table, you can get it from a graph. And remember, use the coordinate pairs to help you. All right, so on to notes from Unit 5. This is a lot to read here. So we're just going to jump into the try it and go for it. So it says, use the information to answer questions 1 through 3. The table shows the cost of frozen yogurt for different number of numbers of ounces. So obviously if you're not buying any ounces of um, frozen yogurt then you're not paying anything. Here it says 1.2, here it says 60 cents. Here this says 3 ounces cost $1.50 and this says 4.5 ounces cost $2.25. I like to take easy numbers to divide by. So here I would do 3 into 1.5 because I only have one, one decimal to deal with. So write an equation to show the relationship between the number of ounces x and the cost y. So this is my y equals kx. Okay, so I have to find what k is. So this is an x comma y. y, boom, bam, this is x, this is y. x, 1.2, 60 cents. 3, 1.5, and 4.5, 2.25. So I'm going to take the easy one to divide, and I'm going to do 150 divided by 3. So k equals 1.5 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 15 five times, so this is $1.50. So I'm going to have 50 cents, three sets of 50 cents and $1.50. 
So writing my equation y equals kx, I'm going to write y equals 0.5x. And there is my equation. k is 0.5. Okay. Now I have to make a graph. So I'm going to use these points to help me out. A proportional relationship always goes through the origin. So I'm going to put a dot there. And you only need two points to make a line. Only two points minimum to make a line. Because the definition of a line is an infinite number of points extending in one direction infinitely. Or I'm sorry, extending in two directions infinitely. So there's one point and then I can do three and one and a half. So I run three and then I jump one and a half and then I plot my point. And I could also do six and that's going to be three dollars because 150 times two is three dollars. So I also need a straight edge. Hold on, let me go get a ruler. All right, so I have my ruler. So I'm going to come here, put my straight edge through it. Make sure that I'm holding it steadily. Make sure I go through all the points. And this is why I usually make big points. And boom, bam, boom. Okay, there's my graph. And then it says, given the equation y equals kx, what is the constant of proportionality? All right, so once I've done all of this over here, this question is easy to answer. It says, given the equation y equals kx, what is the constant of proportionality k shown in the table equation and graph? It's just going to be 0.5. You don't put 0.5x. You don't put 0.5. Or you can, I'm sorry. You don't put y equals 0.5x. You just put 0.5. That is the number that I'm multiplying each x value by to get y. And this is basically cutting it in half. Half of $1.20 is 60 cents. Half of three is $1.50. Half of 4.5 is 2.25. Half of six is three. That's the relationship there. So onto your homework. Pages 51 through 56. And we're gonna skip the activities. This is what we're going to get into for this week. It says the graph shows the proportional relationship between number of hours worked and total pay for workers at a factory. Given the equation y equals kx shown in the graph, which value represents k? So they're just giving me a graph here. I don't know what to do. So I need to look at the graph and find specific points. And then I can make a table. So I can do x, which is the number of hours, and y. So hours and K. Then remember, I only need two points to make a line. So I'm going to run and jump and see where I land. So this looks like 1 8 and this looks like 2 16. So 1 8 and 2 16. If I were to divide these, I would take 8 divided by 1. Whoops, I wrote a over y because I need to be writing the formula first. K equals y over x and then I would say 8 divided by 1 which is 8. That's my constant of proportionality. Okay, I got a free answer there. This one you're not going to get it. <laughs> it says consider the equation y equals kx where, seven, where y equals 7.5 and x equals 3. Which value represents k? So you're going to write y over x and then you're going to take this number and this number and then divide them. For number three, all of this activity is probably going to involve a bunch of um, division. I'm going to say that now. It takes Bobby and Jeremy 15 minutes to set up five tables. There's a rate. 15 minutes for five tables. If Bobby and Jeremy work at a constant rate, that's what they told me, which best describes a possible constant of proportionality? All right, so they give me minutes and they give me tables and then, then, they, then they say three tables per minute and then five tables per minute. It's really weird to do um, or to set tables in a minute. And if I could do five tables in a minute, then I must be moving at Superman speed. 
So these um, rates are kind of ridiculous here. Three tables in one minute and five tables in one minute. These are absurd. So let's think about how we need to write this rate. And it's tables per minute. which is y over x. So I'm going to take my y value, the number of tables that they give me, and my x value, the number of minutes that they give me, and I'm going to divide. Number four, Virginia purchased, uh, purchased three packets of flower seeds to plant in her garden. Each packet contained the same amount of seeds, and 45 flowers bloomed in Virginia's garden. What is the constant of proportionality that relates the number of blooming flowers to the number of seed packets planted? So remember, we read ratios left to right in this case, not up here. So flowers per packet. is my y over x. Divide here. All right, number five. A rock climber's height in feet when climbing a sheer wall can be expressed by the equation h equals 15t. So this is kind of like y equals kx. This is k and so is this. Where t is the time measured in hours. Which relation, which best describes this proportional relationship? So we need to find the right one that matches this K right here. And it's going to be feet per hour. All right. The depth in inches of an object as it sinks in the river is found by the equation d equals half of t, where t is measured in seconds, which best describes the constant of proportionality. So this is going to be inches per second. Inches per second. And the rate is already given to you. I talked about this last week. This is the dirt formula, where r is the rate. And this is directly related to y equals kx, okay? They're just using different letters. D is for distance, rate is for rate, r is for rate, t is for time. So this value right here is your rate or your constant of proportionality. And they give it to you off rip. There's the rate in words as well. The graph shows the amount of earnings for candy bar sales. So it's going in a straight line, and it looks like for every one candy bar, it's 75 cents. For every two, it's $1.50. So I need to make a table. Bars, X, and earnings, Y. So one, and I'm getting 75 cents. Two, and I'm getting 150. Three and I'm getting two fifty. Is that correct? Two twenty five. That is four is three dollars. Which expression can be used to determine the constant of proportionality? Y over x. So take any of these y's and then divide it by x. It may be a fraction, it may be a decimal. 